might be left out of the chance to be a champion in this one. Oh, look at that. One champion slaps the other right in the face. Every singles title in North American Pro Wrestling is at stake in this one. And four individuals who are challenging on this occasion have the opportunity to win, to win this championship as T.J. Steele, the heavyweight champion, was easily able to launch Jack Carpenter in the air with hip toss. Carpenter, maybe the most scientifically sound out of the six individuals in this match. Because he's in a very tough situation here tonight against T.J. Steele. Tag has been made and now a new challenge will enter the frame to take on T.J. Steele in this one. Joey Rose, member of the Blue and Gold Fusion with Cadence Kelly on his side. But T.J. Steele dominates Joey Rose, another challenger. And T.J. Steele is already celebrating a little too his accomplishments. He did not win this match. But the truth is, his partners are aggravated. They are very animated about the fact that they might be left out of the chance to be a champion in this one. Oh, look at that. One champion slaps the other right in the face. It doesn't get any more humiliating than that. And that will only enrage the competitive juices of one Italian war horse Anthony Antonelli, one of the top fan favorites in all the Rumble for the Kids series. And TJ Steele has no problems lofting his smaller adversary over his shoulder. And Antonelli fires back for a hip toss of his own. Another stupid body slam. Antonelli says that this is his final match. But he wants to end his reign in wrestling by holding all championships in North American Pro Wrestling. And now everybody taking turns trying to wipe out TJ Steele from this one. And Antonelli could not defeat the champion right there. As he powers into his corner where he's got two very big and hungry tag team partners that could dictate the damage in multiples. A rivalry that has been a fixture in North American Pro Wrestling and beyond between Joey Rose and DOJ is about to manifest itself one more time. And they've squared off against one another at the Rumble for the Kids series in the past. Uppercuts by Joey Rose, stunned. The former ex-convict who's had some criminal actions in the past, but he has passed that point. He has served his time. Now he's here to do some damage. Nice monkey flip out of the corner by Joey Rose, putting down DOJ here, and it's potentially possible in this match for one challenger to defeat another and to win two championships even when the champions are on the outside. He got caught. Oh, wow. Falling backwards with that flatliner, and you might have noticed Joey Rose, his head hit that top turnbuckle very badly. DOJ almost won two titles right there. Joey Rose, a fan favorite. So thrilled to compete in a matchup with this tight. He's so determined with the blue and gold fusion. A franchise player in North American pro wrestling. But DOJ, with a devastating sent on backsplash, has done some additional damage. And there we go again as DOJ easily elevates and drops all of his body weight on a Joey Rose right there. Pin in combination, and notice Carpenter had a rush in there because he sensed this chance to be champion could have been extinguished even without him being involved in the deciding fall. DOJ just stalking Joey Rose at this point. And DOJ is firmly aware he does not have to do all the damage on his own. He could use his partners 
versus potential weapons. The Wisconsin outlaw, Jake Cross, former title holder within Rumble for the Kids, a great heavyweight with strength, speed, and multiple gears. With that high flying leg drop by the nearly 300 pounder. And Joy Rose was barely able to kick out in time. If you're the precious man, you got the best chance to win. And if you can weaken and subdue the others, that will improve your chances of winning significantly. Look at the upper body strength and mass of Jay Cross. He can just level anybody and everybody he wants. Because everybody is suffering punishment at the hands of Jay Cross right now. now. I don't know about that. The official trying to restart stream, Jack Carpenter. Carpenter's losing his cool. And if he does that too much, he might be eliminated from this formula without being involved in the deciding pinfall. And he has to listen to the official. He has no other choice in this circumstance. And Jay Cross again, raining elbow upon strike after strike on Joey Rose in the middle of the ring. Look at the power of Jay Cross. Not only can he pick him up, he can carry him wherever he wants. Now the crowd starting to get more anxious as they're all cheering for Rose, but Rose suffers that ballway slam. And Cross might be seconds away from using all that explosiveness, all that toughness. And no nonsense down the ring as a brutal brawler. A big splash right there. This is your new potential champion. No way. He's got that left arm up in time. This is a test for Joey Rose. How much pain can he take at the hands of this heavyweight challenge? And now he's up against the heavyweight champion again, who might be an opportunist in this situation, as he wants to win this match and be the key player, the only singles champion in North American pro wrestling. One of the toughest, muscled up tough guys there is, is TJ Steele. No limitations in the ring, no for a nasty spear, involved in this situation and now Jack Carpenter has had enough and now he has gotten in the face of Jimmy Smooth the official for this big time double championship winner take all situation and Carpenter is going to be issued warning upon warning and I'm surprised the official did not disqualify him right there there's so much on the line tempers are flaring and Joey Rose is running out of hope here because he's against the odds. He's in the wrong corner. And TJ Steele just left ended. Joey Rose with that swinging neck breaker. And he almost put him away right there. All that, those physical tools from being a football player and then transitioning into the pro wrestling ranks. With the experience, he has made waves and he's getting noticed. And with one spear or a combination of takedowns, his speed and power might be the game changer, not just in NAPW, but in the entire world of progress. But Rose got a counter. He rode him down with that death drop. And Joey Rose has a choice here. Does he try to obtain help or win the title on his own? And he's trying to do what's better for North American Pro Wrestling as the tag has been made and Carpenter now is potentially against two on one odds. He can't even find a way in this ring. Double spear by Carpenter. It's Carpenter's turn. He could be a champion when this is over with. Lots of success with Joey Rose in previous Rumble for the Kids events. Wizard in the ring uses his feet as weapons. Down goes DOJ. He can execute. He can win big time. And the official is making mention that Carpenter is going after the illegal man with that ruddy knee strike. By Steele, nearly wiped out Carpenter. Two and three quarters, so close. And Steele thought that he had obtained a stranglehold over North American Pro Wrestling Gold. Fans are clapping, stomping and stammering at the potential possibilities that could happen in this opening match with two titles at stake. The Blue is brought up in time. He smashes Joel. But look at that forearm. The question is, what does TJ Steele think about the legal man that's right there? It's a girl. Antonelli could win the championships. He did it. He won it all.
last man. 